Congratulations. I mean, you look fabulous and it's a <laughs> fabulous part. <laughs> In my attire. I know. It's um, all authentic, all vintage. So it was, I enjoyed the wardrobe part of the film, definitely. <laughs> yeah, tell me a bit about how you got the part. How did this come about? Um, it was really, really out of the blue how, how the whole thing came about. I, my agent phoned me and just said that the director, Tim, of the film, um, was interested in seeing me for a casting. So a, a guy called Jeremy Zimmerman um, phoned me up and said, come down and do a casting of, uh, you know, Diane Smith. So um, I didn't really know what to make of it at first. I thought, are they sure they want me to go and cast? <laughs> um, and I went along really just for the experience. I thought this is going to be good for me to get out there and do something a bit different. And, um, and then they sort of said, right, we want you to play the part. and. We're going to be filming in Belgium, so um, yeah, that was me. <laughs> and uh, can you describe a bit of who you're playing? Who, who is I that? play Ray Winston's wife, Diane, and um, I'm just a really nice wife. I think when my husband sees this film, he will wish, would wish I am really like that <laughs> because I am. Um, I'm a really, I adore him. I'm a really nice lady, we've got a little girl, and um, even though I do get a bit angry at him sometimes, he can always talk me around very easily, and I kind of just don't on it every word he says, and I trust him completely. So, um, yeah, so she's a really nice character to play because she's just lovely. And working with Ray then, and him playing your husband, did you kind of talk about what you were gonna do beforehand, or, <laughs> or how did it? Um, it's, Working with someone like Ray, I'm not uh, an actress in the same sense of, you know, Ray being an actor. He's worked with the best and done millions of films. So I think I was just so lucky to have someone like him because the first day I arrived, I said, right, I don't really know what I'm doing. So, do you know, how are we going to play this? And he was just so, do you know, it's going to be fine. We're just going to go for it. And we'll, we'll, we'll walk each scene through as we go. So literally, the first scene, he'd say, right, this is what we're going to do, and the director would walk us through, and he made me feel so comfortable and easy, and just like it was fine, and, you know, we just do this every day, and no no hassle, um, that I, I'm just so lucky that it was with someone like him, because he's not only a brilliant actor, but he's a lovely person as well, and Tim, director was lovely they were just all the whole cast Lois Jack I think everybody was so united and there was such a good will for everybody that I didn't feel that I shouldn't be there or you know just everyone was very encouraging and very confident building I think for me that was the most important thing out of anything and they're all told me that how brilliant you are and, and how uh, much they loved having you Having you on set, you know, it's it's it, it, it's obviously it's a, it's a very nice cast and crew overall, isn't it? The it's whole it. cast, the whole crew, it's, it's one of those things. For me, it was stepping into the unknown. I had no idea what I was going to find when I arrived in Belgium. And I walked into the hotel, and that evening I walked into the bar where everybody was, cast and crew. And um, it felt like I'd been there the whole six weeks of filming already within an hour. Everyone was so engaging. And just so you're going to be great, you're going to, you know, you get out there and give it your best. And there are parts in the film where me and Ray have to be quite, you know, suggestive. And, you know, there's bits of kissing and cuddling. And, and we're very close in the film. And um, I was obviously nervous about that. So I said to Ray, I, I'm a screen kiss. I don't even know what to do. He said, oh, don't worry about it. It'll be fine. I'll just plant one on you. It's fine. So I said, okay. <laughs> So um, again, everybody just made it easy. I think that for me it could have been a, a real difficult experience if I would got there and everybody was very into their roles and not willing to kind of engage, but everyone was so engaging that it, it just, it was such a great experience, one of the best experiences I've ever had. And the Belgium itself, it's a lovely place to work and, and beautiful. Yeah setting it was gorgeous I mean I, I did all of my scenes um, indoors so I didn't get to film outside but obviously got to see Belgium which was beautiful and lovely and loads of character and um, we got to go to the shops which of course we would have done um, yeah so it was lovely and the crew were great and a real I know that everybody a real sense of exactly knowing what they were meant to be doing and real professionalism it was a really good place to work
Mm. So tell me, you, you were saying earlier a bit of how you like the costumes. Can you tell me a bit about the costumes you wear in the film and what they're like? Well, I'm pleased to say I did get out of my nighty eventually. The first two scenes I had to wear very small little baby doll kind of slightly see-through night dresses with underwear underneath and that. So um, that was... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it was fine. It was it was walking from the trailer to the set that was the most embarrassing. Once I was was on the set, it was fine, and everybody could have their laugh and joke about my very pink nightdress or my very baby doll nightdress. Um, but so I, I wore very, and they were, were vintage. They were all authentic. They were all originals, um, and they smelled like it too. <laughs> that musty smell. Um, and then I got to wear some fabulous really cute like this little number um little dresses which i'm going to be sad to take off and leave here i'm going to take it home with me how much do you know of the real story that the film is is based on have you met uh, the real person that you think i haven't met the, the real person no and i haven't met anybody from the the real story story so to speak but um i know it is a real story and i think that's what will come across so well in this film the fact that it's a real story and these events really did happen um for me that is always what what makes a film so enjoyable when you sit at home and you think well, this has really happened to somebody, this really did unfold in this way. And I think that's what's going to be great about this film. And I know the, the cast will play it so true to form as well, that it will be really realistic. So is this, uh, um, what are you doing next? What, what, uh, what film are you taking on after <laughs> What this? film's next? I don't know. <laughs> Do you know what? This, it, it has given me such the taste for acting. Um, it scared me actually because now I'm thinking, okay, um, I thoroughly enjoyed doing this and if another opportunity like this ever came along then I'd jump in. What films do you like yourself? What films do I like? I, do you know, I love all films actually. I enjoy, I, I love a, a good comedy and a romantic comedy because I'm such a girl when it comes to things like that a good romantic comedy um, but I also like an action packed film so you see yourself as a bit of an action <laughs> maybe film. who knows bring them all on <laughs> <laughs> the scenes that you filmed you said you were, were wearing a nighty what what uh, what is the tell me a bit about the scenes that you were filming um, the films that I'm wearing the nighty and one is just really simple it's early in the morning and um, I'm just sort of doing breakfast, and then the later scene is when I am um, I'm at home and I'm waiting like an eager wife. And when my husband comes home, I'm I'm not kind of that happy, but I'm pleased to see him. So then we have a little little flirt, and then the phone rings. <laughs> the phone rings very quickly, <laughs> and then it interrupts us basically. Because your character doesn't know what's going on really, does she? No, my character kind of, I, I think the whole tension between the two of us um, is because my character doesn't really understand the fortification of what's happening and yet she knows that she needs to just trust her husband and that he doesn't often lie to her but she can sense and she knows him so well that um, I think Kenny is getting angry at himself also because doesn't like lying to her and he adores her and the fact that he is lying to her is frustrating him also but um, I think towards the end she gets to know a little bit more about what's going on but she's a good girl she doesn't want to be wrapped up in any of this um, malarkey she's not into crime and guns and there's a scene where Carol has a gun in the house and she's just not impressed at all you can just see her giving her daggers so um yeah she's a good girl that the last thing she wants she wants a very simple and easy life and you know she's one of these ladies that will make do with what they have but kenny wants to go out and get more <laughs> <laughs> and very very uh, briefly um the kid that plays your child in the film how did that work i mean it, yeah well, working with kids is always a danger do you know it, it was lovely because um Ellie Ray is Ray's real daughter um, and so she was brilliant she was totally used to being on a, a film set and her dad being an actor and she was great and her mum was down which is obviously Ray's wife so um, it was quite a nice family affair um, and for me it was nice having her on board because we were both kind of as new to this as each other and 
she held my hand as much as I held hers through the first scenes and she was great and then when we wasn't kind of filming she would come and sit with us and she was lovely I, I she she says she wants to be a forensic scientist but after seeing her I think an actress it will be <laughs> they're a talented family the Winstons aren't they a very talented family yes and I've uh, had the pleasure of meeting all of the Winstons now and um great family all very talented